We want to say a massive thank you to all of our supporters. We started this thing from £5,000 raised through our crowdfunder. Since then, in the last few months, we've had £15,000 from the School of Social Entrepreneurs, further £10,000 from the lottery, £2,000 from the Exeter Chiefs Foundation and further £500 from a local private fund. We are totally overwhelmed by all of this support and we wanted you to understand that we've really tried hard to make sure that our Planet Action Workshops are making an impact on both planet and people. So we delivered two workshops um, in the last two terms. The first one was called Speak Up and we delivered it to 336 students. And this workshop was to inspire young people to join the global community of young people using their voice to articulate the future they want for their planet. We started our workshop with an egg game. Um, we painted an egg with the um, to make it look like the earth and the kids had to pass the egg between them and as they passed it they took a step back and it was a really powerful start to the activity. It got kids really engaged and the idea is that we understand that when something's fragile it changes our behaviour and we treat it with more care. We then went on to play a game called the Boo Hooray game and kids had to use their voices to um, express how they felt about several images that we showed them. And we had um, loud kids yelling about plastic on beaches and deforestation and they really engaged with the activity and understood um, that some of the behaviours that we're doing at the moment are not ideal for our planet. We then talked about Vanessa Nakate, who is a Ugandan climate activist. And Greta's done an amazing job um, for young people, but we wanted to make kids aware that there are loads of people out there from all different continents who are using their voices um, to challenge adults and to challenge adult behaviour and um, world leaders. We then did two activities. Um, we gave everyone a t-shirt and we asked them to write their message on it um, and we talked about how it doesn't have to just be using your voice um, verbally but also you can use your voice through baking cakes or through chatting to your football team or through um, wearing a t-shirt with your message on it. And this was to encourage people of all different characters and personalities to find ways to articulate their idea. We also talked about um, your unique gifts and your superpowers and how all of those are relevant to spreading a message of planet positivity. Then we went on to the HOPE workshop. 957 students attended and this tackled climate anxiety using hard evidence through wilding and conservation stories as well as articulating and imaging the specific future we want to see for 2027. We talked about three stories, the Save the Whale campaign, reintroduction of wolves in Yellowstone National Park, and the beaver story, so the introduction of beavers and how that has made a difference. Then we asked children to stand up if they did various things, things which they were already doing for the environment and might not necessarily have known. We asked them to have a vis visualisation of 50 years in the future and think about how we can reimagine the world, encouraging them to be innovative and real leaders of change when it comes to the environment. They wrote down their thoughts in a postcard. They drew things. They came up with really inspiring and innovative ideas. We put that postcard in a time capsule. We buried it and we planted a tree on it. And there was a real highlight um, around the amount of chatter and excitement um, that was happening when we celebrated things that they were already doing to be positive. So next term and moving forward, we are delivering two more workshops. Um, the Environmental Health Check takes schools through a three-week programme. Um, it's student-led and basically we're aiming to take um, schools from where they are currently um, and move them forward in their sustainability journey through looking at food, through looking at transport and also the use of space on their school site. This year on Earth is a workshop which really celebrates all the positive stories and amazing environmental successes in the year. We are acknowledging that this has been a tough year or two for kids 
Um, and this is a way of ending on a really high note. And we really encourage it um, to be part of your summer term closure.